We're here, day in the life. It's a leisure Sunday. Come with me to a pool party. Let's have some fun. Step into a pool party. You know you gotta have the smell good. So first and foremost, you got the Meteor from LV. And then you got the afternoon swim. And I usually just mix both of them. It's a wrap from there. Before we head out, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna do a little reposado tequila. We don't really do the casa because you kind of have to upgrade from there, you know? I hear that. Yeah, facts. But to each his own. You know what I mean? To all the fellas, ladies that's getting it. You know, 2024, let's end the year right. Too crazy, it's a rainy day, but the party still gotta go on. Um, typically on the weekends, although we work so hard, we, we try to, you know, kick back a little bit. It's necessary, you gotta have balance in your life. Just to release some endorphins, to feel better about the hard work, the grind, and all that. You know, so sometimes it's good to link up with your family, friends, and just kick back. meditation and some spiritual healing and you know tapping into the word um, I'll get on a mastermind zoom zoom meeting and we'll go over markets whether that's you know the financial markets real estate market um, businesses just what's happening in general and um, you know it's the 5th of August and if you haven't seen 
there's been about $1.9 trillion lost today in the financial markets. So um, there's a lot of fear going on. There's some clear indication that there's some fear of a recession that might be approaching. So the good thing about being in masterminds and being around individuals that are in the sphere and world that you're in, you get an understanding of things prior to it happening. Granted, nobody has a crystal ball, so we don't know what's gonna happen, but it's better that collectively people can, you know, collect data and share the data. So at least it gives you an edge for what might be to come, like what might come. So um, I do that. After that, I'll check the journal, check the calendar, see what's happening. And then, you know, um, it's the first of the month. We closed that last month, so we, we, we look at what we've collected so far. So typically, you know, people talk about being a landlord, like, man, I got to go run and collect cash and all this, that, and the third. But the way we have everything set up is virtual. Um, there's never really a time that we're going to collect money from tenants because we just have so many tenants. So, yeah, you know, July was a pretty good month. Closed it out very well. And um, August should should exceed and sort of I had a client in here and he was looking at my board and he saw the hundred million and, and it kind of, you know, um, really like blew his mind, right? And I was talking about this yesterday and I said, we got to set a target. Once we set the target, then we'll know which vehicle to use to get to that target. Typically what happens is individuals are just getting in vehicles and they're driving with no target. But if we get the target and we set it, if I want to go to Las Vegas, then I can say, do I take the plane? Do I take a car? Do I take a boat? What do I take to get to Las Vegas? But if I just get in a boat or car and just drive frivolously, like I'm not getting to anywhere. Again, you got to choose the target. And once you got the target, you choose the vehicles, which will get you to the target. We are here again in one of the Airbnbs in which we have. Charles Airbnb and matter of fact we just got a booking that just came in 8,000 so tap in if you want to learn more about real estate investing Airbnbs flipping um, you know rental properties I'm here to just provide the information just to give you a quick look on the process, we have our cleaners in house right now. Um, we set up stations for towels, cleaning materials. Um, so they work with us specifically dedicated to um, not only just the Airbnbs, but our projects once they're completed. They do post construction cleaning, um, they clean uh, unit turnovers when our units are turning over. Um, so, yeah, this is the process. So, right now, we're about to get on a Zoom call with my sales specialist, um, again, you know, we have to choose targets. So we're also on the, on the sales side of real estate. So we are about to strategize on some creative ways of maximizing the value of the property when putting it on the market for, this, for sale. So get with me. If you're looking to basically get more listings, to maximize your seller's listings, and even to get buyers, I'll show you how we do it and how when we put a property on the market, we don't just hit for asking, we typically go above asking price. So, you know, about to get on this Zoom call, we're about to go over this plan. It's a new strategy that we've been implementing and it's been, it's been doing amazing. And I'll show you a screenshot right here of one property we put on and we just had a bunch of people fighting over it virtually. So. This is a this is a this is going to change the game in 2024. As you know, there's so many rules and regulations that are being put in place. It's, it's kind of making it a little bit more difficult for the buyer's agents. You know, they have to go out and get paid by the buyer. But also, as a listing agent, how are we going to stand out to a seller? These are some of the creative things and some of the strategies that we're putting in place to maximize seller's value. In addition to helping buyers get their foot in the door too. So. Again, tap in. We have so many different things in the pipeline. You're going to see just a plethora of just vehicles to hit certain targets. 
you know, right now we're on our way to trying to do at least 10 to 20 million in revenue this year. Um, and, you know, just to keep going up from there. We just got another one of our team members in. Oh, hi there. Katie, our photographer, always taking flicks of our properties, making sure everything stays fresh. Everybody always wants to see a nice property, so we got her on, on our team um, just to ensure that, you know, everything's always done right. Yeah, so we at the gym today, you know, um, while we get exercise through our mental, we gotta physically exercise ourselves too, you know? It's not just how we look, but how we feel. There's so much with entrepreneurship businesses where it can mentally drain you. So you need an outlet to be able to diffuse yourself. Some people could do the gym thing. Some people could do a hobby or whatever may have you. So for me, I want to have that balance. You know, so right now it's workout time. that um, I got some intel on you know everybody's talking about right now how difficult it is to find deals so sometimes you got to revert back to the old school ways or what may you may have started with so I've been driving around um, having other people drive around you know trying to catch abandoned abandoned properties and stuff like that so we're here right now, undisclosed location, but this is an example of properties that I talk about where overgrown grass, distressed, abandoned. As you can see, people have already left their cards. Um, so we're gonna try to find the owner and we're gonna send them a letter. We're gonna try to get in contact with whomever owns this property because this is an A plus area. Um, quality of homes in this area going for a million plus uh, borderline two million so if we could secure this property and either renovate it or maybe tear it down there could be significant value added here you know so let's take a look so the beautiful thing about this is when I seen it and I spotted it um, I noticed a lot look how massive this lot is beautiful for a tear down to build a little mini mansion colonial uh, property which would go for a lot of money 